Hey guys, it's Carter. Welcome back to the channel. Now in today's video, we are going to be talking about the number one AI ETF that I would highly recommend buying or buying as soon as possible. So I hope you guys all enjoy it. If you guys get anything in value out of this video, hit that like button, subscribe. It means the world to me that you guys clicked on this video. And if you guys find money management, investing, stocks interesting, subscribe. Join the team. That's what we talk about here. So guys, let's jump into it. I hope you guys enjoy it. So before we talk about my number one pick, first we have to understand what an ETF is and why I love it. So an ETF in simple terms is just a pool of different companies. The, the beautiful thing about investing in an ETF is it carries a lot less risk because when you buy one individual company, you could be completely wrong about that company and it could tank. Now, if you buy an ETF, that company could tank down, but the other companies could be going up. So it keeps your account just a little more stable and a little less volatile. Now, the reason I love investing into AI ETFs is because AI is rated to grow from a $30 billion market cap all the way to 300 billion by 2030. So obviously there's a lot of buying pressure, a lot of money behind it. And with that being said, investing in an ETF is more like investing in the overall sector where you still get a ton of growth, but it's just a lot less risky. So with that being said, the best ETF that I would highly recommend is ticker symbol AIQ. Now the reason why this one is so awesome is because of the holdings. This one here specializes in AI and in artificial intelligence and technology. The top four holdings in this thing are are awesome. Now the first holding in here and the strongest holding of this ETF is NVIDIA. NVIDIA in my opinion is by far one of the best rated AI companies to invest in and pretty much that's out there right now. They're heavily invested into AI and they make computer parts, graphics cards, and their last recent chip has a ton of AI capabilities, which is really, really cool. Number two is Meta, AKA Facebook. I think we all know they're heavily invested into tech AI software. So obviously with that being said, I think they're another fantastic pick to add into this ETF. Holding number three in this ETF is Tesla. Tesla is by far one of the best AI companies. Now, Kathy Wood actually rated Tesla as the best AI company out there right now. So with that being said, it's always nice to see Tesla in this mix. Tesla has a ton of capabilities for autonomous driving and they hold more data for autonomous driving than any other car manufacturer out there. So obviously there's gonna be a lot of buying pressure behind that company as well. Now holding number four is Microsoft. Now Microsoft, I think we all know is heavily invested into tech, but one thing you may not know is they invested billions of dollars into ChatGBT, which is an open AI software that pretty much has been the fastest online community to hit a million, 10 million, and 100 million users. It's been the fastest. So there's a lot of people behind it, a lot of money behind it. And guys, all these ETFs, there's 86 holdings in this, in, in this ETF. Every single one carries technology, AI, software. We have companies like Adobe, Salesforce, Google, all those are in this one. So it's a great way to get a ton of growth, but a lot less risk. Now there is a downside. The downside of this ETF is it does carry an expense ratio that is relatively high coming in at 0.68% comparing to like an S&P 500 ETF, which is 0.04%, this one here is a little more expensive. But with that being said, when you pay a little more for an expense ratio, you're gonna be getting a little better performance. Now, this one here has outperformed the S&P 500 pretty much by doubling it. Now, the one year return for the S&P 500 is near and around 16%, which is pretty strong, pretty strong actually. But the one year performance for AIQ is coming in at 33%. So with that being said, this one here carries a ton of potential, a ton of opportunity, and it's heavily invested into tech. But with that being said, Carter, what is the best strategy for this ETF? Should I invest now? Should I buy and hold? Should I dollar cost average? Obviously, I think the best strategy anytime you see an ETF like this is to dollar cost average it. Now, what that means is instead of investing one lump sum of money and just, and just forget about it, pretty much what you do is you invest consistently. So my recommendation is put a fixed amount of money into this every single week. So whether it's a dollar, $5, $10, $100, $1,000. 
just invest consistently into this ETF. Now the beauty of it is as this thing goes up, you have shares, so you're gonna make money off it. And as this thing falls down, if it gets sell off, you're averaging down that sale price and that, you know, that average cost. So once the stock recovers, you make a lot more money because your average cost is so low. It's a great way to invest into these growth stocks, growth ETFs, and these more volatile ETFs because this one is gonna be more volatile than a traditional S&P 500 ETF. This one here carries a ton of potential, ton of opportunity, and one that I highly, highly recommend. But guys, this is just all my opinion, so do your own research before you guys invest. I just see a lot of opportunity with this ETF, and I wanna share this with you guys. So I hope you guys all enjoyed it. If you guys did, hit that like button, subscribe. It means the world to me that you guys are tagging along with me, watching these videos. Guys, we'll see you later. Take care.